And in this video, we're going to look at, uh, we're still looking at the eight release, and we're going to look at three and four. And uh, three and four, at least three is probably the hardest one because one of the rules is same hand, same foot, hand in the center, uh, you know, uh, lost the third one. But you'll see people do now. This has nothing to do with my hand in my center. You know, my hand is over there. My center is pointing this direction. So you've got to think about hand in the center is I'm going over here. He's still coming this way. So my hand is rotating around and staying in my center. Let's do this from this side. Maybe this will. Oh, eye contact is the other one I was trying to think of. As he takes that next step, so you'd like to keep that hand in the center. He's he's really just kind of pulling me along. And it doesn't take a lot. You're not really trying to... If I try and force Brad to... <laughs> uh, you're not going to force him to do much. But if I allow him to take that next step, and he's now pulling me over here... <laughs> and I just go with him. But the big thing is hand in the center and not, oh, I'm going to do something to you. And part of the mindset in all of these, you know, if I go out here, no, if I go here, then in my mind I know we're going here. I'm prejudging and doing something that I don't know is going to happen. If I go out here, you know, I'm in the situation that if he decides to do something different, I can do something different because I haven't committed to doing the whole technique. I've just committed into, he grabbed me and we took a step. Boom. And see, I goofed. And it's hard to stay on top of these. That's why you do the repetition, so that you hone in on it and you get it in your subconscious. Yeah, you can be a little off. You can do some things that aren't quite in sync and still be okay, but you can't do too many of them. Now, number four is like, I'm sorry, the difference between one and two and three and four is the fact that we did cross hand, now we're doing what we call mirror hand. I'm going to curl it and walk behind him. And I'm still going to get this lined up with his center as close as I can. He grabs. I'm fixing to get out. He's still got to come one more step. And we just... He can't... I'm going to attack this time. He can't magically go, oh, I got you. <laughs> if you're, if I'm attacking where he's at, I've got to go, now you get out of my way. I've got to go down that line. I cannot magically, in the middle of this, go, oh, if I change just like what he did, he nails me. But it, it doesn't happen that way. If, if I try and change that up where I'm doing something weird, my body is still traveling this way. i got to stabilize before I can stop that momentum. Just because we're going slow does not mean we're practicing this for a slow technique. Oh, yeah. Oh. 
you just can't turn in the middle of this. So you want to cup it so that it, or pop the wrist. And you see what happened to his body? Whoop. It helps him to go through that hole. That's not what he's thinking, but he got that hand. And the guy on the street, here's the difference between us and the guy on the street. He doesn't lock this finger. You saw it pop off a second ago? It pops off so he can save himself. The guy on the street has got all this locked down, and when they, he's got that finger locked in, he can't let go. It takes a conscious thought. So we go, yeah. This allows him, if something happens, to have that be able to pop off.